Hey, it's Michael Saul with the Stock Market Trading Watch List for Thursday, September 22nd, 2011. Let's take a look at the charts on Wednesday, Fed meeting. The Operation Twist has uh, been activated, revealed, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but um, the market didn't really care for it. S&P video up on the blog. You could see that we broke through this little consolidation that was setting up over the last few weeks. Now have 115.74 as the key line in the sand. If that does not hold, we will put these lows, these two lows here to the test. And if we shred them, I think we're going to go to these lows pretty quickly here. All right. More on that in the video up on the blog. Here's the NASDAQ 100. And the NASDAQ 100 back below the 200-day moving average again after spending a couple of days above it, three days above it. You can see here I drew these lines in. I mean, we could be forming a wedge here, which means we could come down and, and test the low trend line, get a little bit of a bounce there, and start to wiggle into something before um, this continues to the downside. I, I still believe we're in a bear market, even with the NASDAQ 100. I mean, now that we're back below the 200-day, I can be more uh, firm about that. When we're above it, you know, I could say, well, I think we're going to roll over, but... I can't get biased when we're above the 200 day. That's one of my rules. So I'm going to watch this carefully. I mean, if we just nosedive from here, uh, I mean, that's going to really rip open the uh, the indexes that are lagging, like the S&P and the Russell and stuff. But uh, maybe we can continue to form some sort of range here. The Russell, okay, looks like it wants these lows sooner than later. I mean, only a chip shot from here, right? A couple percentage from here. So let's see, it lost 25 today. If it lost 25 again, or, or you know, over a couple of days, if it lost 25 points, uh, it would be down at uh, 619, right? No, I'm sorry, 639. And that's the low, 639.65. So if it did what it did on um, Wednesday over in one session or over a couple of sessions, whatever, I mean, maybe it'll do that again. Uh, on Thursday, but it can easily be at those lows again. So the Russell looking like crap and leading the way. I mentioned in yesterday's video, semiconductors back to the 50 day. Do they hold here? Okay, below that, we have this live angle line here that comes in right below the 20. We've got the banks. Yeah, not good. They came out of their consolidation that we looked at yesterday. They look like they want to hit the lows. Brokers look like they want to hit the lows. Right, right to Goldman, just into the the double digits now. Just smashed. And boy, the relative strength that this one had for quite a while, right? Okay, let's see here. Right below the 62%, it was holding. Target now is 80 on this, on Goldman. All right. Okay, let's look at uh, a couple of the sectors real quick. Yeah, the Biles look like they're ready to uh, want to try to roll. BIB doesn't look like the biotechs though. Amgen above the moving averages. BBH. So where is this coming from? I mean, here the IBB. Okay, looks. Can't get over the 200 day, so that would be the one that I'd be watching. All right. Yeah, but but yet the bios you know, overall just don't uh, don't look so hot. Strange is some of the bigger names on uh, drugs. Okay. Look at the drugs. Yeah. Drug index looks like it wants to pull in also. So much for safety. Gold. Yeah, gold look, GLD want, looks like it wants to test its 50 day. Right, everybody's thinking gold should be flying here, but not with the dollar going up. All right. So GLD, watch the 50 day. SLV. Yeah. If it breaks at 89, watch for a move to the 200 day. Okay, let's look at oil. Oil looks this uh, OIL, which is the IPATH Goldman Sachs crude. 
All right. Looks like this one's ready to fall out of bed here. A couple of the other ones. USO. Same thing. OH. OH leading the way down. The services holders. But watch oil and USO. Now let's look at some of the big stocks. Apple. Yeah, held the highs from the reversal candle. It didn't trigger the reversal, but I uh, got a, um, a price upgrade, a target, price target upgrade. So it was strong for a little bit, but could not hold as the market just got ripped up. Is Amazon, yeah, Amazon, not in a rush to die either. Google, 50-day moving average has held so far. Wanted me to look at the riverbed. Yeah, it looks like a bear flag to me. Looks like this one's going lower. For solar, wow. Yeah, it's ripping it down here. All right. Right at support below here, looking at 66.25. 66.25. Okay, rim came out of that little flag we were watching. Look for it to still become a teenager here. All right. Uh, let's look at Potash. Looks like it wants this low here. Okay. Got cracked 3%. Uh, let's see. What else are we looking at? Oh, let's look at some of the uh, the big name tech. Intel. Really nice impulse to the upside here. Watch oh, this is one of the slower movers. Watch these moving averages there for support if it uh, pulls in. Microsoft with an ugly candle down to 3.6%. Not nice. Not nice. Packard. Yeah, look at Hewlett Packard. I think there was news on this one. Six, well, it appears to have been news on this one. Six and three quarters percent. All right, watch this fill here at 25.66. That's the gap fill. Okay, we came a little shy of that. Uh, okay, Bank of America. Uh, nope, after this nice day here. This the gold, um, Goldman, General Electric. Nice consolidation here, but this one could go down to single digits if uh, we get cracked pretty hard here. All right, I mean, it all depends how, how deep we're going to pull in. You know, for me, it, it's it's tough because the SPY looks like, like I said, if it te takes those lows out, that we're ready to go. But the NDX well, looks like it, it has a little bit more time to digest. Or it wants a little bit more time to digest. But, you know, the Russell looks like death. All right, the banks, the brokers, the semis. But yet the NDX is, is trying to hold and maybe, maybe it's going to just knife down. This is something to definitely uh, pay attention to. All right. It's fast. Yeah. Faz. All right. I got something like this set up. Broke out. Oh, I, probably, I mean, no matter how, how I do the line, it's still a breakout. Uh, and finally, let's look at the VIX. Uh, VIX starting to rise here again. And like I said, when we had that big knife down, I did not think this would be the high. I thought we would go to at least 50 on the VIX. So we'll see if that comes uh, to fruition here and we get some more volatility coming in. All right. Let's see what happens on Thursday. I did the trading plan on the SPY video, but I'll repeat it real quick. After the expansion candle i like to see consolidation at least in the morning so i'm looking for two-way action in the morning and then if the consolidation sets up see if we get any continuation back down um, later on you know after lunch or uh, if we want to grind higher in a corrective way all right that's it i'll talk to everybody again on friday have a great trading day on thursday